What's up, YouTube? This video, I'll be showing you how to use the customized application for your iPod Touch or iPhone. First thing you're going to need to do is have the application. So you're going to, to get the application, you're going to go to Installer. You're going to click on All Packages and scroll down to Customize. Do not get Customize Old. It'll just say Regular Customize. That's one you will need to get. If you can't find it, download a thing called Community Sources, and then you should have it. But after you install it, you're going to want to go down to Themes Customize. Right there. Sorry for the wait. My iPod I've downloaded so many sources that it's getting slow. All right, you're just going to download anything you would like, preferably the ones that are the larger file types because they're going to get you more things for customize. Well, after you've downloaded the stuff you like, click on, click on customize, and if it's your first time using customize, you're going to just hit the little chicken until it'll eventually go away and it'll go right back to your own page and then you're just going to click it again and it should work the second time. Just keep clicking it. Alright, after that, if you have 1.1.1 or 1.1.2, you can change the icon display order, which you can do that, and you can change the number of docks on the bottom. You can go all the way up to nine, or you can have none. It's whatever you would like. All right. Let's see. Now, uh, after that, you can uh, you can also change your Wi-Fi images. It's really one of my favorite. It's got the little stoplight right there. That's what I. And OK. Give it a few seconds, and it should be done. Now, bar images, edge icon, airplane icon, alarm clock, Bluetooth icon. Those are all things for the iPhone, which I have an iPod Touch, so I don't need. Here's your header battery icon. This is going to change the color of the battery in the top right corner of your, I your iPod Touch. So just pick you one of those out. After that, you can click. Uh, you can get a call keypad or a call bar for if you have the iPhone, and if you have the iPod Touch, it's pretty much useless. You can also change the bottom bar. This is what is like on your slide to unlock. This is what this would do. So you just click on one, OK. You know the routine. Now, change the bottom bar. It's pretty much the exact same thing. You just can switch it up a little bit. Your in-call glow. That's strictly for the iPhone. If you have that. All right, let's see. You can change iPod stars, iPod bar, volume knob, and volume field. The volume field is what color you will be seeing when you're changing the how much you want volume on your iPod. Your badge graphic is when you have an update. It's going to be like pretty much the background of your update. This is your default one, so just to give you an example for many of those. You can get a HUD image. You can get an installer skin too, right here. Um, this is for, this is your default right here. It's just the regular plain yellow boxes. Now you can go down here and you can get purple or blue or whatever you like, whatever you download. You can change your main slider, which is obviously what you're going to slide to unlock, or I'll show you how to change that later. So pick whatever you want. Your power slider, which is going to be your slider when you go to turn your iPod off, which you can change that to neat stuff. I have it as the exit sign. So I just click OK. Give it a second. Your highlight mask. This is what's going to be running through the words when you click slide to unlock. Its default is just the regular white. You can change it to all sorts of pretty much anything you can imagine. You can, ch oh, here's what I was talking about, the springboard strings. This is how you change the slide to unlock. Just go down. Instead of it saying slide to unlock, you could put something like, let's see, play with me, or whatever you would like. Just whatever you prefer having yours to say. You can change that to your slide to turn off. You can change every string there is on your iPod. You can also change the background to your calculator. It's 
you use your calculator, here's a bunch of different things you could buy. Right there. Alrighty. Sorry for the wait. Sorry guys, my camera messed up right there. Uh, you're just gonna, like you see, you can get anything you want. And you can also change the weather icons or weather background, whatever you like. If you're default, you can change those. It's kind of neat. It's pretty much just a way to, like it says, customize your iPod. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you had fun. Uh, that's it. And watch my next video to see. I will give you some sources to add to your installer to get games, themes for customized. Anything you could possibly imagine, it's it's the best source there is. It gives you everything you could possibly want and more. Thanks.